My name is Jeff Sparks, president of the Blackland Farm Managers Association. Uh, I guess welcome to the first ever virtual BFMA tour. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, we're having to make a few adjustments this year. But uh, I think we'll all get through this one way or the other. And uh, we appreciate all the sponsors. Appreciate uh, Derek and Hope here for hosting us this year and uh, Coastal Carolina Cotton Gin. And uh, just thank, uh, thank everyone for uh, working with us and getting through these times. Uh, this was our 50th anniversary this year. Uh, we were hoping to do lots of great things, but um, it'll all come together next year and, uh, and be even better. For those of you that may be joining us for the first time, being as uh, we're doing it a little different this year through uh, the internet and the computer, and maybe a lot of folks out here that's uh, never heard of this organization, never seen this organization or what we're doing or, or uh, what our plans are. But uh, basically, like we said earlier, this is our 50th year. 50th anniversary was going to be scheduled for this year. And uh, basically 50 years ago, it was a group of local farmers that kind of got together and uh, this this all this land in this four counties that we're talking about was really just starting to get in production that 50 60 years ago so there was a lot of challenges that uh, people was facing early on that uh, they just they had the land it was some of the supposedly the most productive land in the world but they just couldn't get crops to respond like they needed to so they formed this organization a group amongst you know five or six farmers and then it branched out from there into uh, NCDA and then uh, our local extension service through North Carolina State University. And from there it has grown over the last 50 years into one of the largest uh, really, I guess you would say, private publicly run research organizations in the, in the country. Because we have people come here from all over other universities and say uh, we, we don't have nothing like this in Illinois or Kentucky or Indiana. So we're, we're very proud of that. Early on we learned that copper, a lot of your micronutrients, was very vital in getting things to, to produce around here. So basically, for an example, we went from growing 50 bushel corn back then to now we're producing uppers of 300 bushel corn in good years. So, a lot of research, a lot of time, a lot of dedication has went in to get us from where we have come in really a short period of time. You know, when you talk about 50 years, it's a great milestone, but in the grand scheme of things, it is, it is short as well. So with that, uh, that's a little bit of the history and how it became about. And uh, moving forward, we look for uh, another great 50 years ahead of us.